Nearly 100 new units of affordable housing specifically for senior citizens is coming to the district. The mayor broke ground on the project on Western Avenue in Chevy Chase near the D.C. Maryland line today. And while it's a step forward for more affordable housing in Upper Northwest, News 4's Mark Seagraves reports that even the mayor acknowledged that there is more work to be done in D.C.'s wealthiest ward. Mayor Bowser and Ward 3 Councilman Matt Fruman were on hand for the groundbreaking today. When it's completed, the facility on Western Avenue in Upper Northwest will have 93 units of affordable housing specifically for senior citizens. The apartments will be part of the Lisner Louise Dixon Hurt Home in Friendship Heights, a senior facility Mayor Bowser is more than a little familiar with. Maybe I will be the one who cries. But this is where my grandmother spent her last years. My grandmother would be proud that we've kept our promises. That promise, Bowser's pledge to increase the district's financial commitment to affordable housing across the city. And that goal uh, was to build 36,000 new units by 2025, but again, in all eight wards. The goal we set for this planning area was 1,990 affordable units by 2025, and we've almost reached 1,000 units. Councilmember Fruman, who represents this Ward 3 neighborhood, applauds today's milestone, but acknowledged it's not enough. And I think we have a distance to go in terms of building more affordable housing, but we need to build more housing, affordable and market housing here in Ward 3. It's been a thing that I've believed in for decades, and here we are. We're starting to make progress, but it's just a start. I think we're at about half our goal. Um, and we have this project that's going to, you know, really help us get there. We have another public project that's on the table that will add more units. So we're always looking for opportunities where there's any development, a private development like this one that can add affordable units and the city can be a partner. Both Bowser and Fruman pointed to the nearby Lord and Taylor site and Metro Bus Depot as opportunities for more affordable housing in the wealthiest ward in the district. There's Lord and Taylor and the Western Bus Group. Garage, and actually, those are by far the largest opportunities here in Ward 3 to build housing and affordable housing. And we're going to need to have significant percentages of affordable housing in whatever happens there. This is just a, a great example of a a pivot that we didn't expect. We had a lot of retail there, but adding housing is going to be ultimately a very good thing for this corridor. In Upper Northwest, Mark Seagraves, News 4. And those new affordable units for seniors in Friendship Heights could be complete, should be completed, I should say, by the summer of 2025. They'll be available for seniors who are currently making $36,000 a year or less, and 19 of those units will include supportive services.